So from the terminology perspective, um, defining what is a startup, we have this uh, very, very kind of uh, simplified way of, of uh, communicating uh, what is a startup, what is a scale up, and what is a, a, a small business or the smaller uh, side of uh, SME. And basically, this is divided to two levels on, on bottom and top. It's looking at the perspective of growth ambition and scalability of the venture. And on the, from left to right, it's whether the business model uh, or idea and the team, whether it's unvalidated or whether it's already, already uh, validated. So basically, a startup is looking to to come up with a new innovative uh, um, or new innovation, create a new innovation to market and get that validated that there is true value. And uh, and and once that has been identified, to becoming a scale up. And um, a small business has a validated business model, but it's not necessarily having an ambition or interest to grow or haven't find or haven't uh, decided to look for a more scalable model to deliver in their, their business. And then the scale up can be come from either one of these di directions, but basically that means that there is a clear working business model and the scalability processes and, and business model that um, can be scaled and, and, and therefore then that can be called a scale-up. <clears throat> a key difference uh, between entrepreneurship in general and the startup is that the startup is, is really uh, about an entrepreneurial team working together uh, with innovate, innovative idea uh, in search for a repeatable and scalable business model with ambition and target to grow fast uh, in a big and or fast growing market. So key essence is the team and that's also one big part that, that uh, makes startups um, somewhat more challenging in the beginning because that is a part that, that is not necessarily uh, Easily, easily available or easily figured out. In some settings, the team may already exist uh, from a past venture, from an existing job, founding with uh, co um, colleagues, uh, or it can be coming as a, as a team from a hackathon or, or a university project or, or any of those types of natures where it's, it's basically kind of like team coming together for for a setup where then they they work a little bit together and and together find an idea that they they feel at least some of them feel comfortable of of, of looking to, to push that forward together um, but typically when it starts with the single person starting to build a build a team that actually may may be uh, much harder as a process but, um, but nevertheless, it's very important and we will look into the, the, the ways of, of overcoming this, this part in this, this module. So a, a reminder on the, on the success factors. Um, really, the, the, the material that we have composed over the years we have had this perspective into the importance and it's, it's also um, validated with this great, great uh, research uh, done by Bill Gross, a serial entrepreneur investor in US out of their own portfolio and there's a great uh, TED speak about this topic and, uh, and that, uh, that we also have links to at the end of the, end of the presentation. The key part here is to really understand the, the relevancy of what really makes a difference for the potential success of the venture and specifically the, the, the kind of it's counterproductive into what typically are on the top of the list when, when uh, looking at early startup ventures um, that, that more attention should be looked 
put into making sure there's a good team and good execution in place. Of course, the timing is most important. It's also one of the most challenging things. We'll also look at the timing aspect in context of the of the tomorrow's part when it comes to idea and the market side. And uh, and then on the uh, idea, idea still is, is more important than the business model, but at the same time, business model is also more important than the funding. So funding is just an enabler to, to, to help develop or help accelerate things. Funding alone doesn't make basically anything happen. Uh, the key failure factor uh, out of the statistical perspective is it, it, labeled uh, very, very kind of summarized under premature scaling. Now, if we think about um, the, the failure factors in general, uh, we could say that all the failures ultimately depend on the decisions that co-founders make. So that's a big part of the entrepreneurship is that there is no one else to, to, to blame for the decisions made that then lead to the outcome of whatever that, that is. Deciding not to learn something, deciding to take too much risk, making wrong choice, um, uh, whatever that may be, but that wouldn't be uh, very helpful in trying to avoid those things. That um, so one of the kind of um, what premature scaling means is that that is 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 not by by intentionally or accidentally scaling any dimension of the business too far without taking into consideration all the other aspects that uh, business should also um, uh, look into and the founders should look into. So um, too much money, too much customers, too many team members, um, too much focus on any individual item like product uh, without looking at how these things should be in balance. So basically the premature scaling is that that uh, trying to trying to do too much too early in any one dimension. So as we look at the, the everything in the growth academy context, uh, this is the open standard uh, framework uh, startup development basis that is basically an essential tool to help kind of uh, divide the whole startup creation process. Um, and scale up process into a, um, a manageable pieces for communication purposes and for, for many other um, key considerations. So the key here is to, to see the three main phases that the modules are also divided to, the formation phase, the validation phase and the growth phase as well as then the sub-segments within each of those through idea, ideating, concepting, committing, validating, scaling and establishing. Each of these include uh, the description of uh, a startup or scale-up at that de uh, development phase and then th this framework captures the key terminology of the core items and elements that are most relevant to be highlighted um, in that development phase and then also the kind of the key target or activity uh, with the problem solution fit, vision, founders fit and so forth uh, kind of happening here in, in uh, parallel as well as then the consideration that uh, startup has these two main dimensions developing the idea to product to actual business and developing from talent to co-founding team to a growing uh, uh, efficient organization. So both of these two main elements should at least be considered uh, to be developed in a balanced manner um, and not overscaling either side uh, too, too far along.
also the formation, validation and growth uh, give clear, um, they are like a bigger milestones to pass and they give clear um, phase to really help focus on one phase and, and getting a, a startup successfully through that phase by focusing on mainly on those items only that are relevant in that phase and not needing to worry too much of the coming phases as well as when moving to the next phase pretty much allowing to almost forget the past and only take the result outcomes from that but the whole working model operating model should basically start up adapting to the next phase but not yet to worry too much of the coming phase but not need to worry about the past uh, phase activities either uh, so much anymore so so this this is a, a very helpful thing to help um, kind of handle the amount of things that need to be uh, successfully executed in a startup over time uh, and not need to worry of all of the pieces while at the same time giving uh, perspective and reminder of the overall journey and what's coming and what we have accomplished so far. Um, a statistical perspective to kind of how this um, in the context of, of, of uh, development phases, if we think in the startup ecosystem, this is kind of a statistical numbers of how much there, uh, on one hand, typically, this is not a number from any specific ecosystem, this is mainly the numbers uh, to communicate the conversions happening through these development phases, through these numbers. So these numbers, could, you could multiply this by five or ten or you could um, to divide this by, by two and get 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 less numbers but this just gives the, the, the funnel of the typical uh, conversion rates so if we start with 1500 ideas in an ecosystem with thousand people um, this starts to convert into something of a 60 vague teams so if we think team members two to three you could have something like 120 180 people um, that then it, again the number gets smaller uh, usually out of those those uh, thousand also comes these individuals uh, single solo entrepreneurs that that uh, never establish a team never become um, growth ambitious either because they couldn't manage to do it or they just didn't want to do it. they chose more of a lifestyle entrepreneurship or a more small company and that's so that's that's more manageable for uh, also for a solo entrepreneur but they can also be teams of course but that's less common on that side and more mandatory when it comes to startups and from here it, it goes the number goes down to to uh, 14 potential startups to four uh, really growing startups into one significant company and then depending on the reach and the, the significant can be uh, in the context of the in, in the and the markets that it's coming from um, all the way to getting like one unicorn uh, type of company out of out of this type of statistical perspective but this is a more indicative and the key here is to see like how much they typically um, kind of companies or startups exhaust along the way or they disappear so for example in the case of from 14 potential startups to four growing startups it doesn't necessarily mean that all the 10 were disappeared or they failed it may also just mean that uh, they they basically were left or plateaued their progress at that phase and were not actually um, scaling from there forward or that they are there stuck uh, in the process for a for, for longer period of time. 